thank you for stopping in and watching computer things today's tutorial I'll show you how to downgrade your Windows 8 Toshiba laptop um, to Windows 7 operating system we want to try to basically get rid of Windows 8 and get Windows 7 back on here um, because Windows 8 of course you guys know if you've used Windows 8 it's probably not the most user-friendly operating system along with some other um, issues so the first thing that we will be doing here is just restarting the computer and try to get into the BIOS uh, they actually have changed the BIOS quite a um, quite a bit so it's not the typical BIOS that you're used to and this is one of the reasons why you have such a hard time trying to downgrade back to um, Windows 7 so first thing is we'll go ahead and just restart the computer alright and of course you know you have to just use a little widget at the side here to restart alright now once the computer is restarting you will need to press F2 if it's a Toshiba laptop you will need to press F2 um, different laptops may require different buttons you might have to press S F10 or escape in order for you to get in the BIOS so uh, right now I'm actually in the BIOS and it's not really called the BIOS it's called UEFI uh, stands for unified Ex extensible firmware interface um, and this is the new thing that the manufacturers of the different computer uh, companies are doing now um, and because of Windows 8 obviously so we're in the BIOS there are some settings at the top here the first thing that I'm going to do is actually try to go into the security option here I know the video is kind of jerky so uh, please bear with me so we'll go into security at the top here and then we're going to go down to um, secure boot which is right here and then enter we're going to disable that so now it's disabled the other thing that we're going to do is just go into advance go into system configuration right here alright so once we're in system configuration hit enter then you want to change the boot type that they have here uh, actually boot mode if you guys can see that yep boot mode you want to actually change that to right now it's selected UEFI which I mentioned earlier we want to change that to CSM boot so we go like this once you change that just hit escape the other thing is you will need to set up um, what device you want to boot from so you will need to go in here in the boot options and just select either USB uh, CD or DVD LAN or your hard drive in this case I'm gonna select this um, it's already selected actually the DVD drive just press F10 to make sure that you save your changes and we wanna just click yes now if I've done everything correctly the computer should read the DVD which is my Windows 7 DVD alright there we go so now it's actually booting from my DVD alright and once you get to this part it's pretty much all gravy from here uh, you just have to kind of follow the instructions but once you get from this point um, it's pretty much smooth sailing so I hope you guys find the video useful and if you did find the video useful please please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye bye